G'day and welcome to Matt's workshop. This is the fourth video that I'm doing in a series on the DIY laser build. It's been a very busy the last two weeks uh, getting all parts organised, getting material, sheet metal and more aluminium T-slot. I've got most of the components for the build uh, that have arrived and uh, I'll go and show you those towards the end of the video. But in this video what I'm mainly going to be looking at is uh, just a brief overview on how I put the uh, frame together. So rather than bore you to tears with the days and days of video that I've recorded to get this far, I'm just going to cut out bits and pieces and show you the process that I went through to get it to the stage that it's at now. So starting with the frame that I built in the last episode, uh, just attaching some ply board for the base. So just fixing that directly to the aluminium T-slot and then attaching some 5 inch caster wheels. Uh, these have got the locking mechanism in it and it's definitely a worthwhile addition to make it portable around the workshop, especially for this size machine. I purchased 1.6mm thick aluminium sheeting using it to brace up the machine itself, the frame, and to attach some of the components too. So just making sure that it's all squared up and uh, looking good. Continuing to cut, this would be the second day I've been cutting this sheet metal using just a little uh, aluminium nibbler that I purchased off eBay. It's a great little unit, pretty cheap, but it did the job. So part of getting all this aluminium sheeting on there and making sure it's all square is so that we can line up the X and Y axis rails. So they sit on top of the aluminium sheeting. And uh, once it's all square, I found that it's easy just to move the X axis rail up and get it all in alignment and then make sure that it's all running smoothly before you bolt and screw. Now I didn't have an easy time bolting and screwing but I uh, finally did with these uh, long screws directly through the aluminium T-slot. And then I moved on to completing the top part of the machine so putting in some more rails to attach the uh, lid or the door so these just slide together with the uh, T-slot and the right angle brackets uh, I've put together so many Allen screws that it's uh, I've lost count. And uh, now we've got uh, everything all lined up, ready to put the last part of the rail in place. And we're building the uh, frame at the back to hold the stepper motor driver and the lid for the machine itself. Now I purchased some uh, hinges, some aluminium uh, hinges for the lid. And I've left a gap at the front of the machine, so I found with my a red and black that uh, it likes airflow through the front to help with extraction. So what I've done here, as you can see with the hinge working, I've left a gap at the front and down the bottom there so it rests on that and airflow will go through. So that was a long process putting that all together and I'm glad I've got this far. So I said I was going to show you some of the components that arrived so the uh, future videos will include these components. So to start with, uh, we have our um, Trocan controller. So we purchased a Trocan 708S controller and the main boards there as well. Comes with all the, uh, the leads. So over here we have the four lift screws and uh, the bearings and the plates and pulleys and the gears that will attach for the Z axis up and down. It comes with uh, some stepper motors we also got stepper motors for the X and Y axis as well. Uh, power supplies, we have power supplies for the uh, drivers as well as the uh, controller. Emergency stop button, uh, amp meter, um, electrical interference filter, as well as a 100 watt cloud ray power supply. Now this power supply comes with a amp meter uh, built in, it's a digital amp meter on the top. So I may find a way to mount this so that we can see it inside the machine. But uh, other than that, we'll be just using the standard analog ammeter. We have uh, all the uh, mirrors and uh, lens, lenses there for the laser beam. And some access limit switches, so they will get attached to the uh, controller. We have a water flow sensor there at the back there, as well as some hosing tubes and uh, some belts, some timing belts. So with the machine turned around, we can see these here. These are the uh, laser tube holders. They come with the X and Y axis rail kits. We have some more timing belt. 
So I purchased a beam combiner as well. So this is a different beam combiner than I had in my uh, red and black laser machine. So I thought I'd get something different um, and do a setup on that one. So we've also got all the mirrors to set up and to adjust and align, etc. So thanks for visiting Matt's workshop. It's been a long process getting into where it is now, but I'm happy with the uh, progress. I'll put more information on the build on my website, which is now mwlaser.com.au. You'll also find social media links in the description below, as well as dis uh, links to some of the products that are used in this laser build. As you know, the majority of the components for the laser itself come from CloudRay Laser. Their link is in the description below. And until next time, take care. Cheers.